Well, hey guys. First of all, check out Titan Tungsten, link in the description. Use code Veteran Outdoorsman for 10% off for all your tung tungsten fishing weight needs. Um, I use them. I like them. Check them out. Get 10% off with code Veteran Outdoorsman. Now, let's talk about the Winchester Super X pump. They also call it Speed Pump. I believe that the term was used for the 1300 as well. So, Winchester Super X pump. Um, I got to use this dude on some squirrels uh, earlier this week. Um, actually, the end of last week. Few days ago I've carried it quite a bit um, finally put it through its paces did some shooting with it etc and here's my review um, this is the Winchester Super X pump 20 gauge black shadow and I really like it if you are familiar with the old Winchester 1200s and 1300s this won't seem very new to you um, they're very similar. They feel good. Um, they feel the same if that's something you're used to. I shot a lot of 1200s, 1300s. My mom had a 120 Ranger, which I think was sold at like Kmart, things like that, department store type gun. Um, and this is basically an updated version of that. Now they're made in Turkey now. They're not made in the United States. Um... And they've done some upgrades. I believe the bolt lugs are a little bit larger in Vector Plus barrels instead of in Vector. Um, which means that it's backboard. Uh, I don't know the dimensions for 12 gauge, I believe. Or for 20 gauge, sorry. I believe 12 gauge instead of the standard 725, 730. It's like 740 bore. Um, not horribly larger but larger a lot of people really like the Invector Plus choke system better than the Invectors um, but something to think about if you've got a lot of old wind chokes or Invector chokes you may want to find a different gun if you want to be able to use your chokes in this gun but uh, they come with a full set comes with three chokes full modified improved cylinder that will use about anything you need if you really want to up the versatility a little bit. Um, add a turkey choke, add a skeet choke, add a light modified, add an improved modified. Um, but full modified and improved cylinder do just about anything. I've got the full choke in it right now because I was squirrel hunting. Let's get into the features. Plain black gun, aluminum receiver, matte black, Blued steel, matte black, black synthetic stock, nice, somewhat squishy but firm recoil pad. The recoil with standard 7 8 ounce field loads was fairly minimal. Um, it's a 20 gauge. <laughs> believe it weighs around 6.5 pounds. It's fairly light. Not a lot of difference between the 12 and the 20 in weight. So the 12 is probably going to kick considerably more. I wanted a lightweight 20 gauge to carry for squirrels, rabbits, things like that. Um, but as far as reliability and whatnot goes, I'm sure the 12 gauge will do just as well. Uh, let's see here. Close it up. Actually, what I, sh I should have shown you. It's clear. Completely unloaded. It's, it's pretty smooth. Um, I haven't put a lot of rounds through it. It'll smooth out even more. But these Winchesters are known for pretty smooth action. The old 1200s and 1300s always had a really smooth action. You pull the trigger and they practically pump themselves. Where the name Speed Pump came from. This is basically an updated version of the old Winchester 1300. Which was an updated version of the 1200. The safety, um, 
at the front of the trigger guard. Plastic trigger guard. A lot of people will like that. A little larger trigger guard than normal, so you can use it with gloved hands. They do make versions, um, I forgot what the finish is called, but it's basically like a Cerakote. They do make versions with that. This is this is the cheapest model they make, just a plain black shadow, all jet black. Um, and I really like that, just, just plain flat black, um, which is a good versatile uh, color. It, it, this will work whether you're turkey hunting, duck hunting, dove hunting, whatever. Plain flat black will work just fine. It doesn't doesn't shine, doesn't show up real, real well. Um, it'll work just fine. They do have some accents on it. You see bright, bright red Winchester there. Um, it's got the serial number in white. little W there inlet into the stock. Um, a nice texture on the pistol grip to get a good grip. Um, instead of checkering, just a texture on the grip itself. Um, and it's not rubberized, but it almost feels like it is. It's got a good grip. I haven't tried it with sweaty or wet hands, um, but I think it'll work really well. This is the kind of finished it that kind of feels like uh, if it was wet or whatnot, it'd probably grip even better. Um, I like how Winchester, and they've done this for years, uh, I like how the pump, the hand guard comes all the way back, the forehand comes all the way back, so that you can't pinch your hand, because some people, um, will hold it like behind or whatnot and it and slide down. It keeps you from doing that pinching your hand. You can keep your hand back here instead of where a lot of pumps, it stops right here. So you have to have your arm out further. If you get shorter arm or something like that, you may find this beneficial. Um, fairly lightweight, comes with some nice features. This is the cheaper gun. The uh, the more expensive models with the Cerakote type finish and whatnot have fiber optic bead. This has a plain brass bead. Let me show you that. Just a plain brass bead, which is more than adequate um, for most of what you're going to do is with a shotgun. Um, safety in front of the trigger guard. Slide release at the back comes with sling swivel installed in the magazine cap and another one integrally molded into the stock so you can put it it's sling ready um, put your favorite sling on it and carry it around but it's fairly light you may not need it a nice fairly tall vent rib let me show you that um, with some, with some serrations on top, uh, a serrated groove down the receiver. For me, I'm, you know, I've got fairly long arms. I'm 5'9". I'm not a super tall guy or anything like that. It fits me just, just fine. Comes up, I mean, just, just perfect. Through the squirrels for a loop Saturday. Um, I killed two squirrels with it. I got full choke installed. Uh, worked really well for that. Minimal recoil because it's a 20 gauge, 3 inch chamber. Um, I did turkey hunt with it a little bit this year. I wasn't able to kill a turkey, but uh, it was nice and light to carry. Much lighter than my Auto 5 that I carried the rest of the season. Um, easy to take down, just standard. Unscrew here, take the barrel off, put that back on, and put everything in the box or whatever. Um, like I said, comes with three Invictor Plus choke tubes, which for most people, for what you're going to do with a 20 gauge, um, a full modified and improved cylinder, take care of just about any of your needs. It's a modern gun. It's in Vector Plus. 
so you can shoot steel, um, any of the tungsten variants, TSS, uh, heavy shot, etc. out of it. I'll certainly shoot lead and best missiles, no problem at all. It's got twin action bars, which uh, most pumps have these days. Um, but it, it keeps it from binding a little bit. What I like about it is it's lightweight. Um, it fits me well. It shoulders well. If you're the average guy between 5 foot 9 and 6 foot tall, um, you're probably not going to have any trouble with it at all. If you're a little bit shorter, um, you're a woman, a kid, you might want to try a youth model. Um, this one has a 26 inch barrel. I believe a 28 is available. I also believe there's some shorter barrels like 22s and 24s. You can get slug barrels. I'm waiting for them to come out with a cantilever mounted slug barrel. Um, when they come out with one with a cantilever mount, I will buy a slug barrel for this. But I don't want one with just plain iron sights because then I would have to put a uh, saddle mount or something like that. I want a plain, uh, I want a cantilever mount. Um, I've got that on my other gun. With sl that That's a slug gun. And I would like at some point to set this up for slugs, but I'm waiting to come out with a cantilever mount. If they don't, I won't put one on it. Um, let's see. It's pretty easy to load. Don't have to push the button or anything to throw shells up in this way. Comes with a plug, obviously. Almost all shotguns come with a plug now. Um, without the plug, I believe it holds four and one. With the plug, it's two and one, which is standard, and that's what's required for migratory birds, etc. Um, I like the matte finish. I like the texture on the stock. feels really good. Some synthetic stocks really grab your face and kind of hurt the recoil. Now, I've got some self-lubrication here with the with the beard. But uh, it didn't seem to, to grab my face too bad. Uh, I had an old 870 that used to really kind of tear me up. Um, so I slicked it up with like a scotch bright. <laughs> but uh, so if you have some issues with that, you can always do that and kind of smooth it down. But I haven't had any issues with a nice, a nice sturdy vet rib. Like I said, in Vector Plus choke tubes, which I'm a big fan of. Comes with the sling swivels. I really like that. I like this full length handguard or forearm forend. Uh, I really like that. I like the instead of just a textured magazine cap, it's got nice. So you can see that it's got nice grooves. Really easy to get a grip on. Um, in good click tense. Uh, I really like that three inch chambered. Obviously a fan of that. If you want a turkey hunt or if you're going to duck hunt with it or whatever. Um, long range pheasants. Um, fall squirrels way out there. Something like that. Three inch shells. Three inch capable is, is a plus for sure. I bought this just for rabbit squirrels. I may dove hunt with it. may take it quail hunting or something like that. I may duck hunt with it. You never know. Um. With modern shells, a 20 gauge could certainly be your all around gun. Um, but I wouldn't hesitate if I needed a 12 gauge, I wouldn't hesitate to buy this same model in a 12 gauge. I think I found this on sale for around 350 bucks. Not an expensive gun at all. Um, the fact is, it's right there in the budget range. Um, well under $500. Certainly a good. Uh, a good buy and a good consideration for somebody that's budget minded wants a decent shotgun pumps are generally the way to go to get that way you get a repeater but at a decent price um, and there's a lot of them out there Benelli Nova, Remington 870, um, Stevens makes some Mossberg 500, Maverick it, there's a lot of them out there, but this Winchester Super X pump, um, I've been really impressed with. Some things that I don't like. 
I'm not the biggest fan of the plastic trigger guard, trigger guard. It seems good and sturdy and robust, and I'm sure if you broke it, you could find a replacement. Um, but I would prefer if that was aluminum or steel, um, but not a deal breaker. The, the trigger, I believe, is aluminum. Um, I wish, because I grew up shooting an 870, I wish that the safety was back here. But this is fine. Um, I've gotten used to it. My Beretta has it up here. And it's not a horrible reach. You see, I can reach with my finger pretty easy. I've had some shotguns over the years that with it up here, you really had to stretch for it, and I didn't like that. I would prefer that it was back here. But that's personal preference. If you're used to shooting um, a Winchester there are some others that have the safety up here, then you're going to be just fine. I, because I shot an 870 for years, I just prefer it back here, but again, it's personal preference. Um, I wish this was a threaded in stud. It cost a few more bucks, but I'd pay another 10 bucks to have one that's actually threaded in a metal like an Uncle Mike's style swivel stud versus something molded in because that could break, but if it does, you can drill a hole and put an Uncle Mike's in it, not that big a deal. Um, let's see. I'm kind of a fan of the red lettering. It just looks cool. Oh, nothing fancy, nothing special. If you don't like it, you can probably clean that off paint over whatever um but i i like just a little touch i think it looks cool i've always liked the red lettering on a winchester if it had it i really like the matte finish um, i like the smooth action it's got a decent trigger the recoil pad works really well um, again this is a 20 gauge it doesn't kick super hard to start with but it's a it, it's not a horribly light gun. It's not like a five pound or anything like that. But I think it's around six and a half pounds. It's much lighter than my Beretta 390 and certainly several pounds lighter than my Browning R05. Lighter than a 12 gauge 870. Probably on par with a 20 gauge. Um, easy to take down. Functioned flawlessly, didn't have any issues with that. I had to remember how to use a pump shotgun because I've been shooting auto loaders for the last 15 years, eh, 14 years, something like that. I went away from pumps a while back, and uh, but I wanted a cheap 20 gauge, an inexpensive 20 gauge, something for squirrels, rabbits, and things. Um, this filled the bill. I think it's an attractive gun. I think it's a really nice looking gun. Um, I really like the looks of that rib. I like the red lettering. Um, it doesn't bother me one bit that this thing's made in Turkey. Some people may not like that. That's fine. Uh, tur there are a lot of really good Turkish guns out there. Um, Charles Daly has a Turkish guns for years. Um, I'm not sure what company actually is. It's somewhere in Istanbul, but I'm not sure what company actually manufactures it, but it's licensed by Winchester. Um, really similar to the old Winchester 1300, etc., but with a few improvements, modifications, like the Invector Plus barrel. Hold that the bolt head is a little larger. It's got the rotating bolt head like the old 1300, but I believe it's a little bit larger. The barrels aren't interchangeable or anything. Um, but if if you're somebody that really liked an old Win the old Winchester 1300s, 1200s, um, and you shot them well, and and I did, uh, that was fit me well, and it was shot them well. I think you'll be pretty impressed. 
with Super X Pump. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just bought this gun with my own money. I had a gift card I needed to use. Um, I found it on sale. So I went ahead and picked one up. The stock feels good and sturdy. Uh, like I said, this one has a 26-inch barrel. I believe you can get a 28 in the 20 gauge, but don't quote me on that. The 26 seems to be a, just a good all-around. It's a little bit lighter. The thing balances really well. Um, balance point. Just a little hit of the receiver. Um, but I carried it, you know, like this. You carry a little bit muzzled down with your hand on the receiver. Worked really well. Um, put a sling on it if you want to. I haven't, and I don't really see a need for it for the type of hunting that I do. Uh, but I really, I've been really impressed with this shotgun. The finish is good, the fit is nice, um, it's not a beautiful gun, they do make a wood stocked version that's a little prettier, I believe it's still got a matte finish, um, they make a camoed version, uh, but if you're on, if you're in the market for a decent reliable pump shotgun and you want to get outside of the entry level like a Charles Daly pump or a Stevens I think 320 is their model something like that you want to spend a little bit more money but you don't want to break the bank um, you're looking for something in that somewhere in that three to five hundred dollar range the various models of the Super X Pump, I think, will, will serve you well, but I would look no further than the... In, unless you're going to be a dedicated waterfowler or something like that, I wouldn't look any further than the Black Shadow. You'll save some money there. Um, it's just a, a cool, reliable, good shooting shotgun. Um... I don't really have too much bad to say. Like I said, I wish it had a metal trigger guard. I wish the safety was in a different spot. And I wish that uh, swivel stud on the stock wasn't molded in. I wish it was a, a screw in that you could change out and whatnot. But uh, those are small things. I like the brass bead. I think that's a nice touch. I like the nice high vent rib. Um, magazine tube is nice and smooth and that makes for a smoother working action the action is very smooth I bought a a Stevens pump for my daughter a few years eh, a little over a year ago and it's a little rougher now it, it is smoothed out over time but it came out of the box feeling a little bit gritty that is not the case with this Winchester um, but it was also twice the price. So that's something to consider. But if you don't want an entry level gun, you don't want the sub 200 or, or well, they're probably about two, 250 now. You don't want an entry level gun. You want something a little bit more refined, but you don't want a, like a Browning BPS or something like that. Give the Super X pump a good look. If you're a brand snob and you just have to have a Remington or have to have a Browning by, or a Benelli or whatever, by all means, go ahead and do that. But if you're just looking for a decent shotgun at a good price, that's going to do what you need it to do. You just want an all-around shotgun. Um, you want something you can squirrel and rabbit hunt with. You want something you can duck hunt with, turkey hunt with, etc. This pump in either 12 or 20 gauge with a 26-inch barrel will do anything you want to do. Um, I used to really prefer the 28s, but I'm becoming more and more fond of the 26s. I've got a couple of guns with 26s now. 
And I, I cannot complain. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Give it a try. Um, let me know what you think. If you've got one, let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.